Hello travelers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this simple walking skirt. I'm using 2 meters of felted wool, which means I don't need to finish the seam allowances, and I'm keeping the skirt unlined, which again makes this a quick project that I could finish in a day. First, I'm drafting my pattern. I need my waist measurement and the length of the skirt. I will be making a pattern with six panels. This pattern is drafted to make a full skirt using as much of the fabric as possible. So I start by figuring out the width of each panel. From experience, I prefer the front panel to be a bit less than 20 cm, and I'm making the side panels 10 cm for easy measurement. Then the remaining length is put into the back, which I plan to make a fantail looking back, which I achieve by simply adding and gathering up more fabric. I also draft my waistband, placket and of course pockets. If you want pockets in this, which of course you do, you have to attach the side panels together on the straight of grain, or else the seam will stretch into oblivion. On my felted fabric, it doesn't matter as much, but I think it gives the skirt a better silhouette in the end. I start by drawing and cutting out my waistband and placket, which in my case equals the length of my skirt. Here I'm quartering my fabric and marking the length of my pocket before cutting it out. The fabric is folded double again, and I draw the width of the front side panel with seam allowances. On the fold, I incorrectly draw the width of my front panel. I'm not the best when it comes to math, so I ended up cutting out twice the length of the intended width. Then I simply connect the dots. The hem of the skirt is evened, and then I cut out the panels. On the fold of my fabric again, I measure out the length of my back panel and the side panel. I play, connect the dots, even the hem, and cut it out. I 
I ended up adding another 2cm to the length of the back panel, since this part of the skirt shrinks when adding a bum pad. And here are what the pattern pieces look like. On the side seam, I measure down 10cm and mark where I'm going to attach my pockets. Measuring the length of my pocket, opening and sewing it down by machine. Then with the raw edges out, I pin my side panels together and sew them up with the pockets. Then I attach the placket between the back and side panel and stitch it up all on my machine. I sewed up the remaining panels and ironed it into submission. I ended up attaching a piece of woven black fabric to the floppy part on my placket to strengthen it. I also stitched a ribbon to the pocket that will be sewn into the waistband for the same reason. The placket was sewn on by hand and it was stitched to the skirt being careful to not let the stitches show on the right side of the fabric. The back panel was gathered up quite heavily, but because the fabric had stretched I needed to gather up the entire waist to fit it into my waistband. The friction between my gathering thread and fabric deemed too great and I ended up gathering it by hand.
It was then carefully stitched together. Side of the waistband was finished with whip stitches. Then I spent an entire day hemming the skirt, being careful to not let the stitches show on the outside. I decided to decorate this plain morning skirt with some festive black velvet ribbon. And this is basically a circle skirt with extra steps, because the hem was so wide I had to piece trim together to reach around it. After a lot of careful stitching, I finally sewed hooks and eyes into my placket, finishing the skirt. Thank you. 
I'm really happy with how this project turned out. It's pretty and practical. Thank you for following along and good luck with your own adventures.